Hey everyone, Tanner Bell here, founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com. In today's video, we're talking about five materials you didn't know you could use with your foil quill today. This is such an amazing video to make sure that you guys that have the foil quill are really inspired and getting to take full advantage of it to, for your foiling on all kinds of different material. We absolutely love the foil quill and we have some really awesome cut files coming to Makers Gonna Learn dot com very very soon to use the foil quilt with stay tuned for those because you guys do not want to miss out on that but we are super excited to talk about these five materials so let's jump into it right over here now you guys know you can cut fabric with your Cricut that's no surprise but did you guys know you can actually foil quill on fabric now on the foil quill website they recommend for you guys to do test pieces Make sure to test a section of all materials to make sure that your material is going to work effortlessly and flawlessly before you waste a large amount on, you know, trying to have something cut real large and it cannot. So I highly recommend testing it out, but fabric is going to be something really cool to use the foil quill on to create some really awesome DIY projects. So be sure to let us know your results with that one and we will have other videos giving you guys more training on that. Next up we have vinyl. Now this is something that blows my mind. I love amazing projects with my Cricut. I love 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 you know using vinyl but if you want to be able to take your vinyl projects to a new level being able to foil quill and then cut around the edges and it be a vinyl decal and things like that. It is going to truly be awesome. I've seen many, many people take advantage of this already. So if I was going to recommend one of these to start with that I'm most excited about would probably be the leather or the vinyl. So be sure to try that out and let us know your results as well. Now, next up is everyday paper. So just regular copy paper, cardstocks, anything that you see that you want to um, be able to foil with, you are going to be able to with this device. Um, you are not limited to just 80 pound cardstock, 110 pound cardstock. Um, you're able to use just about anything that you can put in your Cricut, you're going to be able to take advantage of and use with your foil quill. So it's a lot of fun and really, really awesome. Now I've already mentioned it, but we are talking about using leather in the Cricut with the foil quill. You guys know how amazing would it be to make the leather earrings and be able to foil on them. That is going to take that up like three to five notches, guys. You're going to have some really awesome patterns and be able to create some really awesome things. I also want to make some foil quilled little leather bracelets and have some words on them um, because those will be really easy to make cut wise and to be able to accent them with foil. I'm really excited to see how durable they are. So stay tuned for that project. It's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So last but not least is wood. You guys know I'm all about using wood in as many projects as possible to create really awesome decor. The only challenge is what you're going to face is just like using the knife blade, you must find a thin enough wood to go in and out of your Cricut. So no thick pieces of wood, you want it nice, thin, um, so that you're able to have it run through and use with the foil quill. This is going to be a lot of fun. I know we don't have too many videos on it yet, but we will definitely have some really awesome videos using the foil quill as our new cut files are launching. But we really wanted to make sure for all of you that got in on this special offer um, all over the web and at HSN to know that you are not limited to just simple cardstock and you know things that everyone is prone to using and you can really expand your horizon with all of these other materials that you can use today with the foil quilt. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more DIY tutorials. And if you are not already a member of Makers Gonna Learn, that is our membership site. So be sure to check that out. The first link down below to get access to over a thousand cut files, 160 plus fonts for your members printable guides, education, motivation, and inspiration every single day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.